I think today has been, well, it's been one of the first that we, we've run across Merseyside as a listening event. And I think it's set a really high standard in terms of the input from people from within this community. I think the ideas that have come out have been really constructive. They've also been the kind of ideas that have said what's not working at the moment, but what could be done better. So it's been an, an opportunity for people to say, this isn't right, but if you did this, then it could very well be. Well, uh, the one myth that uh, stands out for me is the, um, the banks. The, uh, the people can't get a job unless they've got a bank account. And the banks won't give them a bank account unless they get a job. So it's a vicious circle that uh, it's very hard to be. Unfortunately, people go into so much debt, um, and it says until it's out of hand that they try and get help which is, um, it causes mental health problems, depression, as has a domino effect um, on the family and everyone around. Sometimes we have a generalist device system where people can come in and they may have been offered a job or they may be thinking of taking a job and they will ask us, you know, would they be better off from work? So we do a better off calculation for them to see what benefits there are at the moment and to see what they would get if they went into work and that could be tax credits. They may get some of the rent paid, some of the council tax, but they wouldn't know that unless, you know, they come for advice either here or elsewhere. People just sometimes think that they're not better off going to work. That may be the case, but we would not know until we assess their circumstances on an individual basis. Um, I think what, what came out of our session um, is the problems we're having with this, you know, the attack on the sick, the people who are on uh, employment support allowance, the way they, they're getting attacked by these ridiculous medical decisions, you know. Um, we, we had a case there of a person who's terminally, terminally ill with cancer six months to live, goes for a medical for the employment support allowance and being told that they're actually fit for work, you know, absolutely ridiculous. Um, there's been quite a bit of that going on. So to that end, we're organising a demonstration that's like a, to protest against some of these decisions. That's with all the Merseyside centres, the unemployed centres on Merseyside um, on the 6th of September to sort of bring it home to a lot of people what's going on. Because I, I think a lot of people believe that, you know what, Majority of people who are on the sick are just um, sort of lazy layabouts and they're just uh, claim, claiming uh, a benefit that they're not entitled to, but it's uh, far from it. You know, the truth, in truth, the re reality is there's a lot of people out there who are quite sick and they're suffering because of the uh, the attacks on them at the moment, which is it, it directly re relating to the poverty that we're seeing, you know, on, on a daily basis, really. Uh, another myth is that everybody um, thinks that people are unemployed, don't want to work. That having a job is not always, oh, you're going to be fine from now on. You've got a job, but then you've got the housing benefits, you've got the um, child stuff, um, tax credits, etc., etc., and people often end up more stressed out and in more poverty by trying to work, but there's so many myths that people who are not working are lazy, they don't want to work, they're living off the benefits that workers have to pay for. Because people are going it, to, it's going to be a bit hard because if people's benefits are going to get cut completely or restricted, well, it's going to cause more poverty and that in itself can lead to, to different things. You know, it could cause, you know, people are, are, are going to go out shoplifting for food for the children. If, if they haven't got no money to support the kids, they're all going to be, you know, a lot of problems. You know, it's going to be a real big problem in the future. The myths about uh, people thinking that once they get into work that all the troubles are over and uh, in fact they're not because they, now they, they can get um, credit cards and all that and the next thing you know they are out of, blown all out of proportion and um, they can't control their debts. So that's what we'd like to come to the, try and get into the credit union to try and control their debts and the uh, welfare rights down the bottom of the KUC who can also have a debt department who also can help. Um, people who are on sick, that they're just failing their illness, um, there's nothing wrong with them. I seen them walking down the road last week, but because I have cancer, you cannot see what's inside a person. 
People assumed people who were sick, they were on clutches, they got their arms in a sling, etc, etc. But that doesn't mean a thing. People take things on face value and the media is so, media and governments are so into having people all fighting amongst each other, the workers, the workers, people who are not working, and they're fetching all kinds of things into the back door, and people are that busy concentrating on them myths that they don't realise what is actually going on and how much worse things are going to get. Well, unfortunately, I think it's going to get worse. You know, I mean, this um, this government we've seen coming now, I mean, they're due to announce cuts in October of this year, uh, further benefit cuts, um, and these are cuts on people who, who are least likely to sustain these cuts, you know. Um, so it is going to get worse, and I think, um, if anything, I think we need the the people to, to the anti-poverty people now to get more involved and to get get the message across to the government that it's just not acceptable to attack, you know, the people who can't really defend themselves, you know. I would hope that in terms of action that we just continue to have what I feel is a continued dialogue. Um, what What's always been the worry with events like this is that things will sit on a shelf, things will be ignored. Um, it's not been the case in the past. We've been very fortunate to have really good advocates taking this work forward. And I know my organisation and certainly KUC will ensure that that continues so that people will feel included and will feel confident to come along to any future events that are run.